हे एवरी वन वन ऑफ आर सब्सक्राइबर्स रिसेंटली क्रैक फुल स्टैक जावर डेवलपर इंटरव्यू एट आई बी एम एंड ही वॉन्ट टू शेयर ऑल दिस एक्सपीरियंस अनोनीमसली इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोन शेयर एवरी थिंग अबाउट हिज एक्सपीरियंस वाट ही शेयर विद मी ओके एंड इफ यू हैव अटेंडेड एनी इंटरव्यू रिसेंटली प्लीज फिल द फॉर्म इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो वी विल रीच आउट टू यू यू कैन चूज टू शेयर योर नेम फोटो एंड लिंकड इन प्रोफाइल और शेयर योर एक्सपीरियंस एनोनीमसली Please don't forget to subscribe to catch more videos like this one. So now let's get started. So he applied through Nokri. dot com for a role open for three to seven year of experience. After applying, he received a phone call from HR, which basically his telephonic round. During this round, HR asked about his skill set, notice period, and location preferences. After that, he had an MCQ based round with forty five questions focused on Java, Spring Boot, and AWS. He also had three additional rounds: a technical round about 50 minutes, a managerial round where he discussed past and current projects, and finally an HR round to discuss salary. In this video, I will discuss the technical interview questions one by one with a detailed explanation. So he basically asked core Java, Spring Boot, database, and coding questions. Let's start with the technical interview first. So interviewer started asking about core Java questions, and first he asked about new Java 8 feature. So Java 8 introduced several new features like lambda expressions for concise and flexible coding, streams for efficient data processing and the new date time API for better date and time management and many more. Okay? Then he asked to explain the difference between a lambda expression and anonymous class. So a lambda expression is a short way to write code that performs a task. Sometimes it is used with a simple function in Java. An anonymous class is used to create a one-time use class without naming it, and it's useful for more complex operations where a simple function is not enough. Then interviewer asks the difference between flat map and map. So the map transforms each item in a collection into something else, and it produces a collection of the same size. Whereas flat map also transforms each item but can combine items. From nested collections into a single flat collection. Then he asked to provide an example where you would use the reduce operation in stream. So the reduce operation in stream is useful when we want to combine all the items in a list into a single result, just like adding up all numbers in a list to get the total. For example, in order to find the total sum of a list of integers, you would use reduce to add each number together. Okay. Then he asked the purpose of the optional class in Java 8 and What problem it solved? So the option class in Java 8 is used to prevent errors from null values in our code, and it also solves our problem by helping us to manage situations where a value may or may not be present without causing crashes. Okay. Then he asked to describe the method overloading in brief. So method overloading is a feature when we have multiple methods in the same class with the same name but different parameters. it is also used to perform similar actions in different ways depending on the inputs provided okay then interviewer asks can you overload a method by changing only the return type and also explain your answer with an example so the answer is no basically we cannot overload a method by just changing the return type because java identifies methods by their names and parameter types not return type for example having int my method and double my method in the same class will lead to a compile time error then interviewer asked about internal working of hash map so a hash map in java stores data in pairs of keys and values it uses a hash functions to convert the key into the index where the values is stored and it's generally allow fast access and retrieval then interviewer asked what might happen if two keys have the same hash code value and how hash map handles such collision so if two keys in a hash map have the same hash code value this will cause a collision and hashpipe handles collisions by storing these keys and their values in a linked list or tree at the same index then searches through the list or tree to find the right key okay before moving ahead i will like to share one important thing hey guys if you are not able to crack your interviews then you can check our interview preparation kit as it has helped thousands of candidates in cracking their interviews in this we give the job support and referrals as well basically this kit has four parts the first part is complete interview preparation material this contain categorized material as per the experience level step by step where all the content is organized and available in one place the second part is two real enterprise projects one based in sweden and the other in the usa There will be video explanation, prototype source codes, documents, and quizzes for each project. 
if someone already has projects then they can take this as a reference and prepare accordingly third part is lifetime chat support for all your doubts on projects preparation material or any other guidance and the fourth part is job support and reference for the deserving candidates i have provided the link to get this in below description please check out once as it may change your career literally so now moving to our interview then he asked to describe the collision resolution mechanism in a hash map and how java 8 improves this mechanism so collision are resolved by storing entries in a linked list at each index in a hash map and java 8 improves this by converting these list to a balanced tree when they become too long so this will speed up the search time okay then interviewer asks the difference between double equal and dot equals with examples where they behave differently so basically double equal checks if two reference points to the exact same object while dot equals check if two objects have the same value for example two different string objects with the same content will be true with dot equals but false with double equal then he asked about string interning and how it influence comparisons so string interning is a method where java stores only one copy of each distinct string value in a memory pool this process makes comparison faster and memory efficient because double equal can be used to compare interned strings directly and checks if they are the same object then interviewer ask why might you choose to use double equal over dot equals and vice versa when comparing strings in java from a performance standpoint so we can use double equal to compare strings when we are sure they are interned as it is faster by checking for the same memory reference and we can use dot equals for accurate content comparisons between any two string especially when they are not interned then interviewer asks the difference between string and string buffer so string in java is immutable it means that once created it cannot be changed and string buffer is a mutable it means that it allow us to modify the string it represents without creating a new object each time then he asks about string buffer thread safety and how it is thread safety compared to string and string builder so yes string buffer is thread safe because all of its methods are synchronized which means only one thread can access it at a time and string is inherently thread safe due to its immutability while string builder is not thread safe but faster in single threaded environments then he asked to discuss how string and string buffer handle memory differently so a string creates a new object each time when we modify it by utilizing more memory with each change and string buffer modifies the existing string directly in its buffer it will make it more memory efficient when altering strings repeatedly then interviewer started asking a spring boot question first he asked about dependency injection in spring so dependency injection in spring is a technique where spring creates and connects objects for us so we don't have to manually set them up so this makes managing your app easier next he asked to explain the difference between constructor injection and setter injection so constructor injection in a string passes dependencies into an object through its constructor when the object is created whereas setter injection uses method to set an object's dependencies after it has been constructed then he asks how auto void resource and inject differ from each other so basically resource annotation will narrow down the search first by name then by type auto void and inject will narrow down the search first by type then by qualifier and finally by the name then he has a purpose of the qualifier annotation in spring so uh, when we need to create and use custom qualifier annotation the qualifier annotation in spring dependency help us to specify when bean to use where there are multiple beans of the same type and we can create and use custom qualifiers when we need more precise control to choose the right bean in complex situation next he asked how to handle exception in spring boot application so we can handle exceptions in a spring boot application by using controller advise annotation to define a global exception handler class we can also use the exception handler annotation inside to manage specific exceptions then he asked how to implement logging mechanism in spring boot application so we can add a logging dependency in spring boot like logback in our pom xml or build dot gradle file and then we can use the logger factory to create loggers in our classes to write log messages then he asked the difference between rest and soap and in what scenario might you prefer one over other so rest is lightweight and it uses standard http which makes it ideal for web services that are simple to implement and use 
वेयर एज सोप इज मोर स्ट्रक्चर एंड इट यूज इज एक्सएम एल एंड इट एंड इट इज बेटर सुटेड फॉर कॉम्प्लेक्स ट्रांजेक्शन एंड विद बिल्ट इन एरर हैंडलिंग ओके देन ही आज द रोल ऑफ एच टी टी पी मैथड्स प्ले इन रस्टफुल ए पी आई सो एच टी टी पी मैथड्स इन रस्टफुल ए पी आई डिफाइन द टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेशन वी वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म ऑन अ रिसोर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल गेट रिट्रीव डेटा पोस्ट क्रिएट्स नी रिसोर्स पुट अपडेट्स एक्सिस्टिंग वन एंड डिलीट रिमूव सेम देन ही आस्क अबाउट सेटलेसनेस इन रेस्ट सो इट मीन्स दैट ईच एच टी टी पी रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम अ क्लाइंट टू अ सर्वर मस्ट कंटेन ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन द सर्वर नीड्स टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड रेस्पॉन्स टू द रिक्वेस्ट नेक्स्ट ही आज हाउ कैन वी सिक्योर अर रेस्ट ए पी आई सो वी कैन सिक्योर रस्ट ए पी आई बाई यूजिंग एच टी टी पीज फॉर एनक्रिप्टेड कम्युनिकेशन एंड इम्प्लीमेंट ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड ऑथराइजेशन मेकनिज्म लाइक ओ ओद और ए पी आई स्कीज टू कंट्रोल एक्सिस ओके देन ही आज कंसेप्ट ऑफ हेडियोज एंड इट्स रोल इन रेस्टफुल ए पी आई सो हेडियोज इज अ कंस्टेंट इन रेस्ट डेट फिक्स हाइपर लिंक्स इन द रेस्पॉन्सिस फ्रॉम द ए पी आई एंड दीज लिंक्स गाइड क्लाइंट्स ऑन वॉट ऑपरेशन से कैन परफॉर्म नेक्स्ट एंड इट मेक्स द ए पी आई सेल्फ डिस्क्रिप्टिव एंड डिस्कवरेबल ओके आफ्टर दैट इंटरव्यूअर स्टार्टेड आस्किंग क्वेश्चन ऑन ए डब्ल्यू एस लाइक वॉट इज ई सी टू एस थ्री एंड आई एम सो ई सी टू इज अ सर्विस डेट प्रोवाइड स्केलेबल कंप्यूटिंग कैपेसिटी इन द क्लाउड एंड एस थ्री ऑफर्स स्केलेबल ऑब्जेक्ट स्टोरेज फॉर डेटा बैकअप कलेक्शन एंड रिट्रेबल फ्रॉम एनी वेयर ऑन द वेब वेयर एज आई एम मैनेज एक्सेस टू ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्विस एंड रिसोर्स सिक्योरली इट अलाउज अ सेटअप ऑफ यूजर्स ग्रुप्स एंड परमिशन ओके दैन इंटरव्यू स्टार्टेड आस्किंग क्वेश्चन ऑन एस क्यूल एंड फर्स्ट ही आस्क अबाउट जॉइंट्स इन एस क्यूल्स जॉइंट्स इन एस क्यूल्स आर यूज टू कम्बाइन रोज फ्रॉम टू और मोर टेबल्स बेस्ड ऑन द रिलेटेड कॉलम बिटवीन दैम एंड दे हेल्प अस टू रिट्रीव डेटा डेट एग्जिस्ट across multiple tables and it makes queries more powerful and comprehensive then he asked a coding question and the question was to sort employees objects based on the age by using stream api i am not going to solve this question here otherwise video would be very longer i have provided solution link of this question below in the description okay so guys this is all about ibm technical interview experience and don't forget to check the interview preparation kit below in the description thank you